first of which is the president of Walt Disney World. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Meg Crofton. Oh, this reminds me of a 
3D. <laughs> when we first opened Star Tours in the 1980s, it broke new ground as the first Disney theme park attraction to be based on flight simulator technology. Now our Imagineers are hard at work reimagining the experience and using 3D high definition video to transport our guests to this Star Wars galaxy like never before. And I'm pleased to announce tonight that the new Star Tours will open on May 20th, just in time to launch this year's Star Wars Weekends. You know, when you come to visit our parks, where you stay has much to do with the memories you create here. And work continues on Disney's Art of Animation Resort, where families will enjoy the added space of both a living room and a bedroom in more than a thousand family suites that open late next year. When you think of Walt Disney World, what comes to mind is probably the park where we're gathered right now. When our guests recall their visits, the Magic Kingdom and Fantasyland are at the heart of many of their favorite memories. If you've brought your family here over the years, or if you came yourself as a child, it's likely that you have a great Fantasyland memory. It might involve a princess, a pirate, Peter Pan, or Winnie the Pooh. Today, Fantasyland is the site of the largest expansion at the Magic Kingdom since we opened Walt Disney World in 1971. We are nearly doubling the size of Fantasyland. Walt once 
said that here in Florida, we have room enough to hold all of our dreams. And our new fantasy land will contain every classic icon that guests love to visit, plus many more that will become memories for generations to come. To update you on the progress that's being made to bring to life this new fantasy land, I'd like to welcome our Senior Vice President of Walt Disney Imagineering, Eric Jacobson.